What? Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews. Now, this is just a, uh, a short sort of news video, if you like. So it's been sort of released yesterday, and I completely missed it. That um, not only is uh, Joker Two happening, we know that we saw a, a reveal um, sometime last week, but um, not only is it happening, but Lady Gaga is in early talks to join Joaquin Phoenix in the Todd Phillips musical sequel. Now, Lady Gaga is a surprise sort of addition to this film. Obviously, the, the rumour seems to be surfacing around that she's playing um, a, a different type of Harley Quinn. The title, um, Folio et Deux, or something like that. Um, my Latin or whatever it is, French, is appalling. Um, sort of, if that means that it's... It's a it's a a sickness that um, afflicts two people from the same family, so you both have a, the same sort of illness, if you like. So I'm guessing sort of Harley Quinn's going to form form into this, you know, and be of the similar vein, not necessarily a sibling or a, you know family member, but somebody who shares the same sort of disastrous sort of uh, mental health disorder that we saw. Um, you know, afflict Joaquin Phoenix's character in the in the first film. But that's interesting enough. No issues there. I think Lady Gaga is actually a, a pretty good actress. Um, to be fair, surprisingly so. Um, so no issues there. And I don't really have any mis issues with the idea of a musical. It's just a bizarre, really. But in counterpoint, it does really sort of fit. If it sounds bizarre, I don't, I don't really know because the the first one is sort of like this bizarre sort of mental, you know, landscape. Maybe there is maybe there is something in within this sequel where you know it becomes so so bizarre, so unreal within their minds that everything comes across in a musical way. Maybe that's what the angle is on this. I think the idea of a sequel in general is something that. Remains to be seen whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. It's one of those, I think. People seem up for it. Other people aren't so much. But we'll, we'll see what happens. There you are. There's the title there. Folie et deux. Yeah, it's French, that, isn't it? But, you know. <clears throat> oh, there it says right there. Okay, the title referencing a medical term for an identical or similar mental disorder that affects two or more individuals, usually members of the same family. Okay, so there we go. There's the general premise of the sequel, I'm guessing, and that's where it comes into with Harley Quinn, I suppose. Now, this is obviously on The Hollywood Reporter, and the details are being kept under wraps. There's not really much to really say about this. I think it's just surprising that, um, you know, the whole thing's going to be sort of like a musical. You know, it's bizarre, really. I mean, having Lady Gaga in sort of makes that seem a little bit more sense. Um... So, obviously the first one was a dark, it says there, dark and moody character piece, you know, Taxi Driver meets King of Comedy, that's exactly how it is, it's exactly how it is. Um, and I guess just stretching it into a musical is just another sort of stab in the dark. It's <laughs> it's hard to really judge Warner Brothers DC products, uh, projects as well, like, just... How they're going to be seen, how they're going to be perceived, how it's all going to work and fit together. It's hard really to sort of judge, to be quite honest. But, you know, it's interesting to see. And it's, I feel like the Joker film was a statement piece that really suggested that DC want to try and really sort of push boundaries. And yet they come out with some generic dog shit like Wonder Woman 84. <clears throat> One of them. But we'll see. We'll see how it falls in. Um, it's just... I mean, all it says is that sources say it's also a musical. I mean, it might not be. This might be just to sort of grab the attention of people. You know, you know, sort of unsure of the sequel or, you know, trying to 
piece things together because Lady Gaga is involved. And there you are. There is the sort of reveal that Todd Phillips, the director, um, released on Instagram um, not long ago. And, you know, you get a you get a sense of, you know, the, the film's going to follow the same suit, I'm guessing, in terms of style and tone. But then it's just this idea of a musical. Utterly bizarre. Utterly bizarre. And I don't know what to make of it. But there you go. I, I wanted to just do a little quick video on that. Just to sort of cover it, because it is a bizarre thing. It's a very bizarre idea, but who knows? Maybe it'll actually give it something extra for this, you know, questionable sequel. Regardless of what your thoughts are, thoughts are it's <coughs> it certainly raises questions um, and raises interest levels one way or the other. Like, you know, I'm not a fan of musicals, but if you're going to do something that's really sort of ultra left field and you know why not why not do this why not have joker and harley quinn causing chaos murdering people left right and center to uh, under the guise of a musical why not absolutely why not but there you go so that's it for the moment i'm just gonna leave it right there a little short video if you like this video if you like this kind of sort of news based stuff please do like and subscribe to the channel and uh yeah bye bye